All right, so let's take a look at Shadow Mask. Uh, Shadow Mask is a tool for creating transparent shadows using X-Ray. And it is useful for many cases, one of which is a scene like this. We have a, a background image and we want to have the shadow of this model on the ground. And for that, all you need to do is assign a new material, select the object, hit build selected. And as you can see, it uh, baked the shadow, but it is not mixed very well with the background. To define an object as a shadow mask, you can select the object and press the mask button. And now if I update the shader, it's going to look like this. Uh, we have some shadow here, but it is uh, maybe not that visible. Uh, you can control the shadow area by selecting the shadow mask object and pressing the uh, ramp button over here. And this will give you a good control over the area of the shadow. And as you can see, the shadow is currently white. And this is because the color comes from the material that we assigned to, the, to this object. So if we go to the material, you can actually ch uh, control the shadow color by changing the color of the material which uh, I guess in most cases you just want it to be black. Yeah, something like this. And uh, this was an example for aesthetic objects. You can also use it for animated objects and it can save you a lot of time. So for example, over here, I have animated this uh, character uh, goes something like this and instead of animating every frame for all the objects uh, that this uh, character casts shadow on I just create a proxy mesh and set this one as mask we can set it to animated and if I hit bake right now it is going to go through all the frames and bake the shadow for this object but uh, one thing you should be careful with is that right now uh, there are also many other objects in the scene and all of them are going to cast shadow on this mesh. So to avoid that, it is best to just uh, select these two objects and hide the other objects and then bake this one. Okay, so now we have something like this. And it looks uh, pretty good, but uh, there are some issues, for example, over here we have some darker spots that we shouldn't have. And you can also add extra uh, ramps or extra paintings to control this area. So if I uh, select the uh, shadow ramp, I can go to color offset, assign a new ramp here, and let me just change the direction. And I'm going to just keep the middle, middle part. So uh, these areas are going to just disappear. Like this. And I have to mention that the reason this ramp works is because the UV of this uh, shadow mask surface covers the whole UV area. So when I apply the ramp, it just goes uh, from this direction to here. And it uh, includes only the middle area that I defined. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the issues that you may face while using shadow mask. Uh, one of them is related to a scene like this where you have a light source with a very high intensity. And uh, let's say we want the, to have the shadow of this sphere casted on a shadow mask uh, object instead of these actual meshes. So the first thing we need to do is hide the sphere and bake the ground so we don't have any shadow of the sphere anywhere. Now let's create a plane for our shadow mask. Assign a new material. I'm going to set it to mask and hit bake 
and we get something like this. Now if I change the color, you can see that we get these weird uh, lines on the very bright areas. And to fix that we can use the Arnold imagers. So uh, let's add a, a tone map. You can set it to Reinhardt and just set highlight to zero. And if I bake it down, it is going to fix that issue. Uh, you can do the same thing for shadow as well. If you had a problem with the shadow areas, you can inc uh, increase the shadow a little bit to fix those issues. But I don't see anything uh, in this scene, so I'm going to just leave it as zero. This animated object also gets close to these uh, boxes, so it is going to cast shadow on uh, this object as well. If it is a simple object like this, we can just duplicate them and combine them with the plane and make sure all of them have the same material. Also, check the light map UV, and for this uh, case, I'm going to just use a automatic UV to create a proper light map for the merge uh, objects. Uh, you can also delete any unnecessary faces, so for example the ones on the bottom they are not going to be useful. And now I'm going to set it to mask again and hit build. Now uh, in this case you, uh, you need to also just solo the shadow mask and the animated object. Uh, let's set it to animated and hit bake. Let's set it to black. Something like this. Now you can see that uh, the shadow that uh, gets casted on these boxes are not uh, really visible. And that is because they are exactly on the same uh, place. So you can just select these uh, uh, faces and use transform component to just move them a little bit out. And now we can see that the shadow is visible. And we can also increase the light map resolution and build again. And the last tip for uh, using the shadow mask would be to uh, use the vertex uh, color to mask uh, some shadow areas. So uh, for that, you need to, uh, to have more division on the uh, shadow mask surface. So for example, let's say I want to say that I don't want any shadow in this area. And you can just go to uh, vertex color or if you don't have my X you can go to mesh display paint vertex color and now use the alpha and just set the alpha to zero and now if I draw you can see that those areas just get uh, invisible Now you can see that uh, when I uh, set the alpha back to 1, uh, it gets completely black. And that is because of the blending mode of the vertex color. So if we go to color set editor, you can change the blending mode to, for example, multiply, multiply. And you can see that it fixed the issue. Yeah, this is a very useful uh, tool for masking some areas. So for example, if you uh, feel that the dark side of these boxes also gets multiplied and you don't want that, you can just use the alpha to remove those areas and don't get any dark shadow over there. That's it.